Hello, my name is Dr. Madal, and today is Spirituality Talk. Spirituality Talk is a show where I share with you my life's adventures thus far here on this planet Earth. And um, they're usually going to be talk of spiritual experiences here on Earth, of the supernatural, um, spiritual, paranormal, what have you. Um, I talk about all of it and I answer your questions on experiences of this nature that you may have been having and you feel like all alone and you want to talk to someone about it and you can leave questions specifically of a spiritual nature in the comment section below and I can answer them in an upcoming show. So today what I want to answer is a question from a viewer. Um, it's an interesting question too. Um, I've never been posed this question before. And it has to do with the solstices and celebrating them and when to celebrate them. And this is the specific question. Hi, I don't understand something. Maybe you can help me understand. Google winter, I Google winter solstice 2017 northern hemisphere and Google says it's at 11.28 a.m. on Thursday, December 21st. I thought it was only at sunrise. What up with that? I want to start doing this and be outside in nature for the summer solstice, but I know, don't know what time. So if you want to break it down into time, figuring that out, I usually don't. <laughs> I, yeah, I usually don't. When summer solstice comes around, it's June 21st. I have a series of books that I uh, refer to, and I'll show you. I have this one called by Raymond Buckland. Uh, called Wicca for One, The Path of the Solitary Witchcraft, of Solitary Witchcraft. That one talks about the, um, the solstices and the celebrations, the nature-based celebrations that occur every year in this one, and many more things, too. Uh, this one is Wicca Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham, and this one provides just about the same amount of information but just different, so different approach. Um, this one is by, it's called The Spiral Dance, A Rebirth of the Ancient Religion of the Great Goddess by Starhawk. So this one's pretty intense and good too. Um, talking about, but this is more of like if you're a part of a group uh, celebrating. So it's, but it gives you good ideas and it talks about the, uh, the solstices in this as well. And, um, yeah, so get yourself a few books too and read about it as well. So you want to know when to celebrate the summer solstice. Um, June 21st is summer solstice. You don't have to get up exactly at sunrise just at that exact time. Summer solstice is going to be all day long on June 21st, not just for that little segment of time. <laughs> it's going to be all day long. So you can, re you can take in the benefits of that energy of summer solstice just by immersing yourself out in nature on that day on June 21st. Let me grab this book here from Scott Cunningham, and I just want to read a little something to you guys out of here about summer solstice we're skipping some <laughs> some holidays but that's okay um a viewer was really curious about this so i wanted to um talk about it and share this information because not a lot of people know that i guess i mean not a lot of people i don't know some people may assume that you just celebrate it at a certain time you could celebrate it all day and night until the next day Till it's the next day. I mean, that's how I celebrate summer solstice. Um, because yeah, this book that I'm looking through, it's called, like I said, Wicca: A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. It's got everything you need to know, the basics about celebrating the changing of the seasons. Um, that's this is the book that I would primarily suggest if you're just starting out and you're just learning um, about nature-based. Um, practices. So I'm seeing if I find it in here. I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Yeah. It breaks it down, talks about the gods and the goddesses. Um, so let's see. 
So me, for me, a nature-based religion, like, I don't know if you could call it religion, I guess you could, if it's something you practice on a daily basis, I guess it's considered a religion, but for me, it's just like a spiritual way of living, um, appreciating um, everything that's provided for me through uh, nature, and um, really, uh, really connecting as much as I can with the people around me, and Ever since I started really observing these um, special days of the year, I really started to tap into the energy that can help transform people for the better, you know? And I hope that you guys experience that too, Whether, whatever it is that you practice or you do to stay spiritually grounded, that you are able to find that time, you know? to do these things. You don't have to wait on these special days to do this, but on these days there's more there's a, more of a build up of power, I think, and energy. And um, that's why these these uh, holidays and special days have been um, all over the world have been really um, taken seriously, you know. I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. Okay, there's Yule for on uh, winter solstice. It's December 21st. And let's see. Let me go here. It's so packed, man. There's so much in here. Um, doesn't look like it. it. looks like a small book, but there's so much in here. Even tells the lore of, of each. Okay, here we go. I found it finally. <laughs> so it's midsummer, circa June 21st. Before the rite, make up a small cloth pouch filled with herbs. Okay, this is something you can do to uh, celebrate it. Um, these are things you can do to celebrate it. Um, you can make a, a small cloth pouch filled with herbs such as lavender, chamomile, St. John's wort, vervain, um, and mentally pour all your troubles, problems, pains, sorrows, and illnesses, if any, into this petition as you construct it. So this is kind of cool. It, I'm not going to read all of those. But basically, celebrate the holiday. Celebrate summer solstice on June 21st. No matter if you get up at the crack of dawn or whatever time, summer solstice is going to be all day on June 21st. And all the way till midnight. <laughs> midnight till it's like June 22nd. So that's what I do. Just get out and enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy nature like you would do when you did, you know, celebrate spring. The first day of spring, March 21st. You get outside, you enjoy nature. You try to plant seeds if you can. That's what you do. So don't get tied up in what time, exact time, because it's just, it's going to be all day long. <laughs> So I hope that explains things for you, viewer. I uh, hope that helps you. Um, and also you can purchase some books to, to help guide you along the way and, you know, give you ideas on how to celebrate these special days of the year. So thank you so much for joining me today. And yeah, just get in touch with Mother Earth and celebrate these uh, special days of the year by just doing that, you know. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and tell me how you celebrate these nature-based uh, holidays. And I'll see you soon. Peace.